Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactive Essentials. So let's continue the flux tests. And now we will see how we can get flux, for example, from a list. So flux subscriber from list. So there are some cases where you will have like streams or lists and you would like to get the, the information and change it into a flux. So for that, if you just do it like this, just and this will return a flux of list of integer. But this is not what we are looking for. We are looking for uh, this list into a regular flux, the same way we have here. So when you have this case, you can use one of the from methods so we have it from a string or from array or from iterable in this case from iterable and then we'll be able to get the flux one two three four five in the way we were looking for so if we execute this test you will see that now we have a flux from this list of integers now the next thing it's uh, let's see in case we have some errors, so let's copy this one and then subscriber numbers error. So we can remove this to keep things uh, simple. Let's uh, go back to the range one to five. Okay, so imagine that we have this publisher that for some reason after. I get, uh, let's say, if the number is equal to 4, imagine that I just have this exception. We are going to throw in exception. Can be, for example, index out of bound. And then we return the number if it's not equals 4. Okay, so what's happening here? We have a flux that's going to publish from 1 to 5, but then when it gets to 4, it will throw an exception. So here we can get flux.subscribe. We can keep printing this and you will see that we can also get the exception by printing the stack trace. And also, let's uh, add here, in case it uh, is completely finished, log.info, done. Okay, and let's uh, change the test a little bit, because now we will not expect from 1 to 5. What's going to happen? It will get 1, 2, 3, and then we are going to expect an error and this error will be from index out of bonus exception class let's execute okay let's see we have here one two three and then when on next four is triggered we have this exception index out of bounds and then you can see that we have the cancel index error and then everything else it's uh, inside the test so the tests they are working why because we are expecting this error after the position number three now you could change this so for example here we have the subscription and we can tell for example that we would like this subscription to request only three and you will see that here we are not going to see this error anymore because this is bounded so we are requesting one, two, three. You can see here one, two, three, and then the there is no exception at all. But notice that we are not getting the done. Why? Because we have five elements and we only got three. But even though if we try to get five, we will get this exception. So as you can see, the done is never actually executed. The on complete. Well. What can we do, for example, in another way? 
let's say that we would like now to apply some back pressure so how can we actually get let's say we have from 1 to 10 and we would like to get um, pairs of 2 well pairs of 2 is kind of redundant so let's uh, try here uh, flux uh, subscriber numbers and well let's try two different ways let's call this one the ugly back pressure and let's say that we have from 1 to 10 let's remove this you want just a regular flux okay um, now I have this flux subscribe I will change the method here and have 1 to 10 and now my subscribe I will delete everything why because I will apply some business logic I will create this new subscriber this is an interface and then we have to provide the implementation for these four methods and I will create two objects here one a private int count and another one it's the subscription be careful with the package subscription so when I'm subscribing I would like this dot subscription to receive the subscription and I would like the subscription to request only two elements so let's see how this works the test will fail because of this line so we have here request two and then we have one two the problem is verify complete so the problem is we have two and we know that the number will go from one to ten it means that we are not achieving the entire publisher so what we are going to do here is to apply some business logic on next so for example when I request two I will get one next one one next two and if I request five I will get one next uh, one two three four five but I would like to get one two and then request another one two and then request another one two so I want just a pair of numbers being returned on each request so let's uh, add another one here private int request count and let's add this request count here because now on next this is the counter that I'm going to use and for example if the count it's greater or equals 2 I would like the count to be 0 again and I would like to add another subscription requesting 2 more so now that I'm doing this actually this is why I created this guy let's uh, execute So you can see here that we are subscribing and then we are requesting two numbers both numbers are being returned and then we request another two numbers and then three and four and the two numbers five and six all the way to ten so when we request another two it just remember from the mono here so the publisher will publish uh, everything that it has and then the uncomplete will be called in this case here we request two more elements but the publisher finished on 10 that's why we have this on complete being executed so in the next uh, video let's see how we can improve uh, this subscriber using the base subscriber so see you in the next video bye